The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has always taught that marriage and the family are ordained of God. In 1995, leaders of the church proclaimed to the world that the family is essential to God's plan for the eternal destiny of His children. The proclamation indicated that fathers and mothers are obligated to help one another as equal partners in their sacred responsibilities as parents. Fathers are to preside over their families in love and righteousness. They are responsible to provide both the necessities of life and protection for their families. Mothers are primarily responsible for the nurture of their children. These divinely appointed roles should be followed whenever possible. Although disability, death, or other circumstances may necessitate individual adaptation. The church has always been supportive of the rights and opportunities of women and has often been in the forefront of women's issues. In the late 1800s, when women were struggling around the world for the right to vote in government elections, Latter-day Saint women in Utah and other western parts of the United States had already been voting for several years. Among the Latter-day Saints, pioneer women became poets, doctors, lawyers, and educators, each making a substantial and positive contribution to society. The same tradition continues today. Latter-day Saint women have achieved prominent positions as scientists, teachers, politicians, researchers, and athletes. But it's been said that the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Thus, the members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe that the greatest impact a woman can have is in her role as a wife and a mother. This unique opportunity to bear and help nurture children and to help rear the next generation as loyal and productive citizens is a special opportunity for women. And wherever possible, this should be a woman's first priority. In 1842, Joseph Smith organized the Ladies' Relief Society for the women of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. These women helped each other deal with the trials of pioneer life. They cared for the needy and taught each other art, culture, homemaking skills, and principles of spiritual living. Today, the Relief Society is one of the oldest and largest organizations for women in the entire world. It has a membership of over 4 million women in more than 160 countries. Outstanding leaders in the Relief Society give counsel and guidance each year in large women's conferences televised over a worldwide satellite network. In each local congregation of the church, the Relief Society president sits in council with the local lay leaders and takes an active part in assisting with both the spiritual and temporal needs of church members. The women of the Relief Society help one another to improve themselves in many ways, with weekly classes devoted to homemaking, family relations, and the teachings of Jesus Christ. With the motto, Charity Never Faileth, the Relief Society of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints places a high emphasis on compassionate service to those in need. This service is expressed in many ways. One project involved the making of quilts for use by victims of wars and natural disasters. In the 10 months prior to April of the year 2000, over 125,000 of these handmade quilts were given to needy people in Kosovo, Venezuela, Mexico, Turkey, Zimbabwe, and other areas of the world. In another service project, the organization has developed programs to teach literacy in many areas around the world. These efforts have helped to educate men, women, and children and provide better economic conditions for thousands of families. The role of women is a vital one in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and in the home. 
In our Heavenly Father's plan, husbands and wives are to work together as equal partners in building strong and happy families, which are the foundation of any society.